What would happen if the moon crashes into the Earth? Scientists speculate that the moon was formed when another planet violently collided with the Earth and launched debris into space billions of years ago. This debris merged over time and formed into the moon. It sounds crazy that the only celestial body humans have set foot on was initially a part of the Earth. The moon is the fifth largest of its kind in our solar system and is the only natural satellite our planet has. This makes it a very influential presence for life on Earth. It helps stabilize the climate on the planet while also controlling tides. It is one of the reasons why the Earth is a hospitable planet for life to thrive. The importance of the moon for our planet is obvious, but what would happen if it suddenly crashed into the Earth? Is such a scenario even possible? Stay tuned to find out. To better understand how such a scenario would play out, let us first discuss how the moon behaves currently in relation to the Earth. It has been observed that the moon is currently on a spin, which takes it away from the Earth at around 1.5 inches per year. However, scientists estimate that this behavior may change around 65 billion years from now. At that point, the moon may change course and start edging closer towards the Earth. If due to some inexplicable reason this process happened much sooner than expected, the human race will not be as prepared to deal with the consequences as we may have been in the future. Preventing this catastrophic event would be all but impossible. One of the first effects of the moon getting closer to Earth would probably be felt by the animals and sea creatures that depend on it. There are various species of animals who only hunt in the cover of night and use the moonlight as a guide. Birds would also feel the effects as they use the moon to navigate and migrate. Studies have found that migratory birds depend on moonlight to look for flying insects, which they feed on to stay energized for the journey. A closer moon would mean more light, which could disrupt this natural balance. Things like corals, which mysteriously only spawn once a year when there is a full moon, may also experience changes in their cycles. What's more is that studies have found it took people five minutes longer to fall asleep when a full moon was out. They also found it harder to stay asleep during this time. This means that humans may also feel the effects of the moon inching closer to the Earth without even realizing it. As the moon continues to get visibly closer to the Earth, its sheer size and gravitational exertion would start to have negative effects on the climate. The tides on our oceans are caused by the gravitational pull of the moon. This plays a major role in the stability of the ecosystem as this gravitational pull prevents the Earth from wobbling on its axis. When the moon gets closer, this gravitational pull increases substantially, stirring the ocean into a massive frenzy. We would experience tides as high as 30,000 feet constantly swallowing huge chunks of land and devastating major cities like London and New York. Simulations show that the massive tsunamis would destroy everything they came into contact with and would push any loose debris back inland after each wave, causing even more destruction. In addition to the tidal devastation, we would also experience major volcanic activity due to an increase in the core temperature of the planet. The event would also trigger massive earthquakes all over the world. As the moon gets to around 11,470 miles over the Earth, life on Earth would most probably have completely perished already thanks to the catastrophic changes in the climate. The event would also speed up the Earth's rotation substantially and days would become shorter. The final impact, however, may still not be how you envision it. The two celestial bodies will not collide with one another. The moon will disintegrate into smaller pieces of debris instead. This is because of the Roche limit. It is the maximum distance at which the tidal forces become much stronger than gravity. This means there is more force trying to pull the moon apart than hold it together. The resulting debris from this event will form a ring around the Earth, similar to the one which can be observed around Saturn. This debris may eventually start falling to Earth and cause massive damage to the surface. It would destroy everything in the impact zone and cause massive craters. Most life on Earth would have probably perished after the event. One of the most noticeable changes would be the newfound clarity in the night sky. Without the brightness of the moon, other celestial bodies in the sky would be much more prominent. That's where the positive stop, though. Without the moon, the balance of nature would have been disturbed and the Earth would not be an inviting place for life to thrive anymore. Tides in the ocean would almost come to a standstill. No moon in the sky would mean that there would never be another eclipse. Additionally, without the moon's force causing the Earth's rotation to slow down, the length of a day would be fixed at 24 hours. Any surviving life on the planet would have to deal with freezing temperatures as a sudden drop in global temperatures would surely trigger an ice age. The moon also plays a crucial role in stabilizing our planet's axial tilt. 
Without it, our planet would tilt several degrees on its side, possibly changing the location of the poles. This would change the climate of the world as it could cause the poles to become warm and the equator to become cold. The result would be that the places on Earth most suited for surface life would change every few years. While a direct impact would be avoided and life could potentially survive thanks to the Roche limit, studies show that it only comes into play if the object traveling towards it moves at a speed at which there is enough time for it to work. Hypothetically speaking, if the moon traveled towards the Earth at a speed where it didn't have time to disintegrate, it would spell an end for the entire planet. In addition to the climate effects that would take place as it came closer to the Earth, the near-perfect spherical shape of the planet may also get distorted temporarily as the gravitational forces generated by both objects objects clash together. The impact of the two massive objects would expel so much energy that the event would be visible from the outer reaches of the galaxy. The resulting destruction would be catastrophic, with the explosion causing massive spikes in temperature and lights bright enough to blind any living witnesses. The devastation would leave our once luscious planet into a molten, deformed shell of its former self. The impact would also probably push the planet out of its orbit around the sun and send it spiraling into the vast depths of space, lost for eternity. In this scenario, even the most resilient of organisms would no longer survive the harsh conditions of the planet, marking an end of life on Earth. To better put this hypothetical event into perspective, let's look at the nearest point of reference we have to this scenario. The massive extinction event which wiped out the dinosaurs is a good study into what the effects of such a collision would be. Scientists estimate that the meteor which caused the demise of dinosaurs was between 6 and 15 miles wide. It left so much carnage in its wake that it wiped out almost all surface life on the planet. The clouds of debris blocked out the sun and started an ice age that lasted for years. In contrast, the moon is a staggering 2,150 miles wide. As you can imagine, a direct collision would leave no chance for anything to survive. The universe has a knack for recycling things, though. Over millions of years, the remnants of Earth and the moon could come together to form a completely new planet, but there is no way to know if it will have the same conditions to sustain life as Earth once did. Thankfully, though, such a scenario seems very unlikely, and we don't have to worry about the moon changing course anytime soon. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you are passionate about the wonders of space. Moon is the only celestial body humans have visited so far. Where do you think we should go next? Mars or somewhere further? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.